Oh my gosh. Quite classy. Devotion, quite the notion. Yet, how many can claim a mind so pure, still, and sure? Look at you, through the heavy snow you roam, desiring that thing, no doubt. I read your fortune before you came. Care to hear? Act not and be still, thy gifts are thy ill. If you seek your own end, I shall not stop you. I, the Keeper of the New West, welcome the Destined One. Now fly! See that temple on the lake? Therein lies the thing you seek. The lord of this land is away. Seize it now and leave. Let it begin. Ha, 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 ha. 
it still recalls your scent. When that monkey was alive, he was all about weeping and begging for help. Now, even in death, he led all you younglings right to me. This sack of mine can barely fit you all. <laughs> Kung Jing Long, now that you are ready, go and weigh up this one for your master. Basically, just wasted that immobilized spell because tracking is so bad on this target. Be warned. One does not simply leave the cage that Yellowbrow toiled to build. And for those who try, some went mad, and the rest dead. Welcome to the Buddha's realm. <laughs> Here is where one's mind ebbs away with the tides of chance. Huh. That includes yours too. Why bother fighting it? Just a bit.
happened to be happy. Hold it, my friend. Sit with me a while. Dark furred, devious natured, hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land bites with cold. Lack of readiness could be your undoing. Our reunion is destined. And so is my role to teach you this little trick. Ah, I am extraordinary, as is my flame. It shall help you in need, be it injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yaogwais, none shall dare to... Think a puny monkey can go beyond that? Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West. Didn't come back. Change your mind.
your true self. These are set in their ways. Still, though, you'll never crack the gold symbol. So long, constipation! I was nearly cooked alive in there. Mm. 
Move it. Blast it, I saw. Wasn't even worth my second glance back in the court. Ah, that same look again. A furry coat and a pinched face. Luck's all you've got. Great, another mute. Whatever. Let's not dally. Now the turtle and I have shared a few tales. That yellow brow is not like our foes. That old monkey from Mount Guaguo asked me to back you up here to save his ugly tricks. I fall sick from cold, boy. The blame falls square on you. I need a rest. That pavilion looks like a good place. Hey kid, you look suspicious. What kind of Yaogwai are you? Shh, I'm looking at that Buddha over there. See his belly button? It's so big. Me and you, we look way smaller. Buddha? Where is it? You see no Buddha because you think no Buddha. No thought, no sight. I, the sacred Gourmand, saw enough Buddhas before you were born. Foolish brat. You didn't see that coming, did you? True hearts find their path, and the Buddha is on that path. Why not worship with a true heart? The path might just show itself. Worship my hoof. Visit temples, kneel to figures. You tell no black from white. That's my master. I am fed up with all these skin-deep rites. <laughs> <laughs> no true heart. The path is sealed. With true heart, it's revealed. At each temple you encounter and worship every Buddha you see, or the true face of Buddha will always remain elusive to your eyes. What's that sound? That little mug's up to his tricks once more. Worship my hoof. Let's go back. Chubby one, we've done the rites. Where's the path? <laughs> the path? Isn't it always there? Huh. Don't you trick me, you bald, pot-bellied brat! All I'm seeing are mountains, no path at all! He sees wisely with faith. You are daft without it. Cut your nonsense! Oh, you must be that trickster himself, fooling us all along! Take my rake! Ah! Why so rude? I didn't force you to kneel. Throwing a tantrum at your age? Shame on you! Uh, you brat! Save your stupid path! I'll borrow one myself! Uh, uh, you go on first. I'll meet you at the summit. Uh. One monkey dead, and another shows up. <laughs> the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Starts now! <laughs> Starts 
now!
friend! Yellow Wind Ridge offered me nothing. Yellow Brow, the Buddha, was my next plea. Only after meeting his grace in the New West did I see. I wasted my life for others and missed much joy. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra when one oneself can be a Buddha? Let 
me quench your thirst for blood. <laughs> Not again would I abide by the scriptures! Mount Lynch and 
This rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hm. Ow. Yeah, you potbelly! I should have figured out it was you! 
<laughs> Forgive my little deception. <laughs> Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <sighs> lend me that <sighs> break of yours. <sighs>
tarried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shan Tzu. <sighs> you chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends?